Hey everyone, Mark Price here at devslopes.com and today we are briefly going to talk about merge conflicts. And you may have experienced this before, maybe not, but the problem happens when two developers change the same line of code, more or less, and there's a conflict because one a piece of code is saying one thing and the other is saying the other thing and so Git doesn't know what to do. And so first and foremost, the number one reason why merge conflicts happen is because of lack of communication on a team. So if you're having a merge conflict, it's not necessarily a technical issue. It's probably uh, some type of problem in communication for your team because in most cases, your code should not be affected by someone else's changes. It means you guys are working on the same thing at the same time. And why are you doing that? You should be working on different pieces of the code that don't necessarily affect one another. And so there are some projects and cases when you can have merge conflicts more often, but you shouldn't especially on mobile apps uh, when you have one to three people working on the same team, I think you can figure out something else to work on instead of the same line of code. And you need to be very open in communication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate a merge conflict and then we're going to talk about how to resolve it. So let's go ahead and get started here. What we want to do is I've got some code here in our Flappy Bird. Okay. So what I've done is I've created two repositories on my computer that point to the same two local repositories that point to the same remote repository to simulate a different programmer on a different computer. Okay, so right now we are opening up Coder A. We're opening up Coder A's code base here and we wanna make a change, okay? And so here in our GitHub desktop, we notice we are on master, okay? And uh, we're gonna change something here. So in fact, let me sync this real quick and make sure all is well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the hill y position. We're going to change that to 500 here. Okay, looks good to me. If I come over here, okay, look at my uncommitted changes, and we should see it right here, 300 to 500. Right, you with me so far? These are uncommitted changes. Let's go ahead and commit them. So coder a changed hill position. Okay, and let's go ahead and commit it. Okay, so it's now committed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Let's look over here. Okay, let me sync this first, make sure all is in order. Okay, that looks good. Master, perfect. So if I go over here to my history, coder A changed hill position, that's great. That's exactly what we want to happen. And if we go over here to our GitHub, it's up there automatically. And maybe you're wondering, well, what, where's the publish button? Well, when you're working out of the main out of that branch, that master branch, it's going to just sync it up for you automatically. I don't recommend working in your master branch, but we're just showing an example here. So what has happened so far is coder A, okay, has changed the hill position from 300 to 500 and they've pushed it up to the remote repository. Are you with me so far? Now what we're going to do is we're going to close out of Xcode here and we're going to pretend that we're on a different computer now. Here's coder B. And I'm going to open up a new Xcode project right here. Notice how this is Flappy 2. Okay, this is Flappy Swift. This is Flappy 2. Coder A, Coder B. All right, and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to open up this project. All right, and notice how the hill position here is still 300. It's not 500. It's not the newest because we haven't pulled down those new changes yet onto the new, onto Coder B's computer. So what we're going to do here instead is instead of going to 500, we're going to set this one to 10,000. Okay, we want the hill position to be 10,000 in this one. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of this. And what I'm going to do is open my terminal. Okay. And I'm going to navigate to Coder B's computer here. As you can see, I am there. If I present working directory, Flappy 2. So this is Coder B's computer, right? So if I say git status, okay, we've got some modified changes here. All right. And what we want to do is add those and then commit those, of course. So git add dash A git commit dash m and let's say a changed hill position so at this point both developers uh, have uh, created um, a change on the same line of code now you this can be handled from uh, github desktop meaning it, you could sync it clicking the sync button and then it would give you a merge conflict error okay let me, that was steam we're not playing any games here there we go and uh, so i could have just uh, pulled open my other repo from here. I could have added a repository. In fact, we can probably do that here. Let's let's find a local one. Uh, let's choose 
the repo path. Let's go ahead and add this the, the coder B's repository here. Okay. So we're going to go down to desktop and we're looking for Flappy 2, Flappy Swift, and click open. Add repository. Okay, so it's a little confusing because they're named the same, right? But here is uh, Flappy B, Coder B, okay? That's this is Coder B right here. And we have just uh, made it a commit um, for that, that position. Now what I want to do is I want to sync this. I want to pull down changes that are already on master into Coder B's computer. Remember, Coder A already changed that line of code. And now Coder B did the same thing. And we're going to pull Coder's A changes down into Coder B and let's see what happens. I'm going to sync it. Please resolve all conflicted files, commit, and then try syncing again. So we have a merge conflict. Notice the red icon. It means he's unhappy. So we have a merge conflict. Okay. So all I need to do is go into my project here. In fact, just let me close out of Xcode here and so we can make sure we're in the right repo. We are in Flappy 2, which is the one that has the merge conflict now. And if I double click this to open the project, notice how there's some weird syntax here. There's some lines here. Okay, this is where the merge conflict is. It tells you where it tells you where it starts. It tells you uh, where it ends. And head means the change that uh, you are making here. Okay, locally, these are your changes. And then the one underneath it here is the changes that are already on the repository. Now, some of you may have heard of merge tools, which you can use, uh, like a Git merge tool, or there's lots of uh, graphical based merge tools on the internet. We're just going to handle it right here. Uh, so what you first want to do, okay, is you want to go talk to that developer. Hey man. Why the heck did you change the hill position here? This was my job. You shouldn't be doing that. What's wrong with you? What's going on here? Probably punch him in the face or something. Uh, and then, uh, no, don't do that. Uh, I don't endorse uh, fighting, at least at work. Do it after. And uh, what you want to do now is fix the problem. So you've communicated and coder, so let's say coder A, he's like, you know what? I shouldn't have changed it to 500. You're right. Uh, it's not my job. That was your job. And so what, all you have to do here uh, you can do this from the command line as well. And I'm just showing you one way to do this, okay? There's so many ways of doing this. Uh, and some some coders might say, hey, you know, don't ever do it manually like this. But uh, at least this gives you full control and power. You can actually see the changes that you want to make, okay? And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and delete the one we don't want. So I know we don't want this one. We had a conversation and the guy didn't know what he was doing. So we're going to delete this and this. And we're going to delete this. Okay, and then we're just gonna save it. And if I build the project, that'll let me know that all is well and running. Okay, and that red thing should go away, and it did. Okay, so we're good to go. So now back here in our uh, in our uh, GitHub desktop, we now have two uncommitted changes, okay? We've now changed the, uh... oh, it's telling us here that we can resolve this in editor, um, like so but uh, we don't care if we're good to go here. So here's our changes, right? We've made our changes and what we want to do is just commit those. Okay. Commit to master. Okay. So we've committed those changes and uh, now let's go ahead and sync and our projects should work just fine. Okay. And there it is. So we've now pushed up those changes. So if I go over here to GitHub, Hey, look at that. So let's take a let's take a look at the steps. I know this can be confusing and you may run into this problem. Okay, so coder A changed tilt position. Remember, coder A changed it from 300 to 500. He had no idea what he was doing, but he did it anyway. And then coder B did the same thing. But notice how this is interesting. 300 to 1,000. Wait a minute. How did it go from 300 to 500 and then 300 to 10,000? That's the, that's the amount. 300 to 10,000. Well, the reason is we fixed the conflict. Okay. Uh, we fixed the conflict, and it even talks about it right here, this merge that we did here. But we fixed the conflict, so it was like coders A changes were never even made because we fixed the conflict, okay? And all is well now. Our repo is up to date and the way it should be. Uh, and uh, anyway, so it's more so a communication issue than anything else. There are a few different tools that are out there, and I just want to uh, do a search here to show you. So GUI merge tool, okay, there's some different tools that are out there. Um, get merge tool, meld. Okay. These are graphical tools that you can get or buy. And basically what it does is it shows you the, the line of code on the left, the line of code on the right, uh, and the uh, and you can choose whether you want the left side changes or the right side changes, or if you want to keep both. Uh, there's other tools that do the exact same thing. Uh, I'm not endorsing any of these tools. I'm just showing you there are tools available. And of course, uh, Xcode and, uh, and the uh, OSX comes with a built-in uh, merge tool uh, that you can do. And you can do that when you have a problem by typing in git merge 
tool like so, okay? And uh, then it will open up that GUI-based uh, graphical editor as well too. Uh, anyway, the point I wanna make is, even though there's many different ways of fixing a merge conflict, the point I wanna make is you need to accept the changes that you actually want in the code. Whether you do it by hand, whether you do it with a tool or not, it doesn't matter. The idea is you go talk to somebody, figure out what's actually supposed to be in the code, and then you make sure those changes are what stays in the code uh, and those very specific changes where the problems are. And you can, of course, keep both. Sometimes people, uh, you know, maybe added something on the same line of code, just added something. It's still going to show a conflict. And so you can actually just keep both in if you want. So uh, you've got to use your brain. You've got to talk to your teammates. I know you're all introverts, you're coders. I get it. Uh, but you still need to talk to somebody. So that's it for now. Uh, this is a complex subject and it takes time and practice, especially with anything related to Git. And so you're just going to have to keep on practicing and the better you get, the less merge conflicts you'll have. So Mark Price at devslopes.com. See you later. And remember to get your free live help, go to devslopes.com and click on the chat room. We have thousands of students in there helping each other out. Also click on the forums. This is where you can search for answers to your code problems and you can also post your own issues. So head on over now.